Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to this pantry video. Today we're going to make over and reorganize our New York City pantry. As you may know, most apartments in New York City are too small to actually have a pantry, so we have taken over part of this hall closet to make it work. I have been putting this off for a long time. <laughs> We've lived in our apartment for over four months now and our pantry is still a disaster. It's right here behind me. I'll get a better picture in just a second. Um, so in Texas, we had a nice huge pantry. Maybe I can get a picture here and show you what it looked like. And I have so many pantry videos of me just working through the process of organizing and getting that pantry to where I absolutely loved it and it functioned great for us. So I'll include all of those links down below if you wanna go on the journey, if you will. I brought all of that organization stuff here with me to New York knowing that I probably wouldn't get to use all of it, which was totally fine, but I wanted to use what I had to organize. So I have something going on here, and again, we'll zoom in in a second, um, but it is not great. Like, honestly, I'm pretty sure that there are some photographs in here so we're just gonna do a big clean today a reorganize so if you want to organize with me open up your pantry let's just do a shelf or something small and let's get some stuff done hey bud toaster's not sure what's going on because i'm filming this video he's like what are you doing okay so i just wanted to show you where our pantry is located and in terms of our apartment okay so let me back up we do have an apartment video Make sure you don't trip on anything. So here's our kitchen. We have a nice big kitchen, but it's really not big enough to put pantry stuff in. Like we do have some big appliance storage up there, but mostly this is all like actual kitchen stuff, okay? But it's good, you know, we don't have much on the counters and that's really, really nice. So to have an actual pantry, we're going into our entry hall. So there's our, our front door, we have like a little coat rack. Anyway, so we have this really great big closet. It's got three doors on it, but it's really like one and a half closets because the middle door isn't on its own, if that makes sense. So these all slide on this side and, and there's storage like way up. We're gonna spend a lot of time organizing this side of the closet in another video because it's also a disaster and needs some help. Um, but this is more like coats, toaster stuff. We've got like medicine, extra storage for bathroom things. And then we took this whole side here and made it our pantry. So I, you know, like I said, we've lived here for four months. And so I've already gotten started. Obviously we couldn't live here for four months and not have something going on, but it's a real disaster. <laughs> Maybe not to you. It doesn't look maybe it doesn't look too bad because I did get to just take some of the things from our Texas pantry. So we've got a lot of turntables and baskets and fancy things, but here's where it gets like real real chaotic. Like in this basket, there's like I'm pretty sure there's some photographs, like I was saying. I don't remember why. I just like threw them in there. Um, but obviously this is not super functional. We probably have about four open chip bags that need to be thrown away and just, it's not working for us. The labels definitely don't match. I haven't changed them out. Like this says gum in bags, yet it has apples and Gatorade. What? So we're just going to have to take everything out, throw away what we don't need and make this look a lot better. All of the containers, shelves, baskets, and stuff that you see today are going to be linked in the description box below. The blue baskets I got it at home in Texas, so I'm not 100% sure if those will still be available. But everything else is mostly like the OXO pop um, flex stuff. And then the shelves are from the container store. They're so great. And those they do still have available because we actually have three of them. Wait. Yeah, we had three and we went and bought another one once we got here because we knew we wanted to take advantage of all the vertical space. And so I know that those are there. And then one last thing I just got on Amazon like yesterday, a um, hundred of these little paper labels. I really like these to put on the baskets because it just makes it easier to know like what goes back in here. And then because I have so many, I can change them out um, as needed. So step number one, we are going to clear out this pantry. We're going to throw away anything that's old and needs to go away. And we're going to get anything out of there that is not food. And we're going to have a nice, fresh space to get started organizing. You 
Somehow we've ended up with a lot of candy again. So as I'm like going through and getting rid of stuff, this candy we've had for a long time and neither one of us has eaten it. So I'm guessing it's something that we don't like. So stuff like that, I'm just kind of purging through, getting rid of, putting like stuff together. It's gonna make it a lot easier for me when I put the stuff back. bottom part is nearly empty. There's some <laughs> there's some Taco Bell sauce packets back there that I left just to show you that uh, everyone has stuff that falls. <laughs> um, anyway, so these shelves, I'm about to pull them out just so I can vacuum and everything and get it really clean. And also remember this part of the closet, not pantry. We're going to work on that later in another video. So just ignore the mess. These shelves are great though. They're quite sturdy. They're about, I can't remember, maybe $20 a piece. I'm not sure actually, I don't remember, but they're a great size. They work really, really well. They are slotted, but they're pretty close like metal slots. And so baskets work really well on them, all of that. And then on the bottom, see this right here? This is actually, um, uh, what's it called? Like not a drawer liner, um, a cabinet liner. So this was like a big mat that came as an under the sink, like cabinet liner. And I put it under the sink and I had all this remaining. And I was like, you know, I should probably put something underneath these little metal feet to protect our wood floors because I know as we're pulling stuff out, this will move. So I need to get that um, fixed so that's a little more under the feet. But I'm, I just do that in some places to protect our floor. You know, I would do that at my own home, but also being renters, we really want to protect it. So I'm going to pull this out, vacuum, and then put the shelves back. And then we will go up <laughs> to those higher shelves and get those cleaned up too. rethinking things for just a second and realizing that because of the unique way this closet is made it's really hard to get to everything that's like in the middle and this might be my only chance to get to the stuff that's right there in that closet so I might just pull that all out and vacuum even if I don't put it back perfectly because again once that shelf goes back in there it's gonna be a lot harder to get to that part of the closet even when I'm organizing it later on Everything is nice and clean now. Trust me, it's all almost dog hair free and I organized that. We have too many bags, so that'll come in another video. So what I've done with all of this stuff is I put it over here on the floor, kind of in categories like sweet stuff and chips and tea and we don't have a ton of food anymore. We used to have so much more in Texas, if you remember that. So I've got everything organized and then I did empty out most of the baskets so that I could um, rework how everything is going back into the pantry. But first, there is more to the pantry. Walk back with me. So bottom up to 
Ha, ah, so it's so important in a small space to use all of the space that you have in, in apartments, a lot of times it's vertical space. So this is stuff that I can reach this. I can even reach that stuff. And because I have it on turntables, I can reach every single thing that's on the shelf. Great tip, put stuff on a Lazy Susan, it helps so much. Um, so I'm not gonna bring all of that stuff down because I think it works the way it is. I'm just gonna get on a ladder and go up there and look through it and just see if there's anything we need to throw away, any duplicates and stuff like that. So this is probably gonna remain mostly untouched, but there's that tip for you. Get those Lazy Susans, they really do help. So that was just a quick check. I mean, I just went through everything. I turned all the labels around to make sure they're going out because again, when I'm standing down low, I can't really see everything. And then duplicates are always in the center of these little Lazy Susans. Like we have an extra peanut butter. So it's in the middle there. So when I run out of peanut butter, I can check the middle. And then we also have duplicates in the back. There's an extra Pam. See, we have one right here, one in the back. There's extra flour back there. So we do still have duplicates just not as much. And then I kind of freshened up this shelf. This is a lot of baking things that we have. And I'm gonna bring this basket down with me because I really wasn't happy with the way that was functioning. It was really hard to get to our Ziploc bags. I mean, we don't use them that often, which is why they're on a high shelf. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can make them just a little bit easier to get to everything. All right, we emptied, we categorized, we cleaned. And now we have a nice blank slate and we're ready for the fun part, which is to put everything back together, make the magic happen. So I love doing this part. This is like the best. <laughs> the best part of any kind of organization is when everything's ready and we just have to put it back. So I've got a lot of empty baskets. I've got a lot of stuff here behind me. So what I'm going to do next is play around with arranging things in the baskets and on the shelves. And once I have everything into place, Place how I feel like it's going to function and look great. The last step I'm going to do is add on those labels. So let's get to categorizing. everything rearranged all that's left to do now is make some labels That label making is tedious, but I promise it's worth it to know where everything goes. Even if it's just you, it just helps you plan everything better, but especially if you have other family members putting stuff away. All right, let's dive in and take that final tour. Starting way back here, 
I think you can already tell it's not as um, overflowing as it was earlier. Uh, so let's let's go in. Let's start here at the bottom. So I cleaned things up here, got rid of some stuff, and it's pretty much the same. But I will tell you that since we've moved here, like lived here, there's always been like an extra can of something on the floor. So it's going to be really nice to not have that out. But uh, this is just a uh, pasta and rice. There's some pasta in the back. I can slide it out relatively easy. And then we keep our cans right here. I like heavy stuff on the floor. So I'm not as worried about it, like, you know, falling over and everything. This shelf is our snack shelf. I'm missing a label here because it was being kind of a pain. I need to like retie the string and Kent's on his way home and I told him I would finish before he got here. So I'm gonna come back and get that label. Um, but we've got sweet snacks and salty snacks. These are all the snacks we have, well, pretty much. And so they're gonna be on the shelf. I have it down low. So I really like to have things by like, um, use at the grocery store, right? Okay, I'm backing up. At the grocery store, eye level is their prime brands, their most expensive stuff, because they know you're going to see that first and reach for it. Or like sugary cereals are low for kid level. So do that for yourself. I put the stuff that I use the most at the top or need to use the most and the things I want to avoid grabbing like snacks down at the bottom or just that you don't get to as often. The next shelf here, we have so much tea. This is taking up a lot of real estate. We need to drink through this. We've been working on it. Um, we also have some Gatorade, so it really should just be drinks. And then we have, as always, a whole basket for ramen because we do eat a lot of ramen here. Um, we've got our other snack containers. So we've got two of these now instead of four like we had in our old pantry. There's one in the back. So these are the only things that are allowed to be open. No more chips or snacks can be open my cereal that I eat every day. And then this is the baking stuff. So I actually rearranged some things since I showed like the organizing. I moved the popcorn up here and the ramen to that basket. Then the baking stuff went in here. It all just worked a little bit better. And then this top shelf, I, I wish I could just use a little more vertical space, but we're really, really close here. So I moved my fruits up here. We don't have veggies all the time. It's harder to get fresh stuff um, here in New York City, honestly. Like, it's not harder, just like, it's different. We'll have to do a video on that, but I always eat fruit just about every day, so that's in there. And then this, I always suggest having a basket or a space for rotating items, like things that you just buy to make dinner that week or that you want to get through. So this just says, eat now. These are some of our things we just bought that we're using for dinners or whatever this week. This is also where we'll probably just throw bread. We might throw bread there. I'm not sure. We don't eat a lot of bread. Um, but this is looking so, so good. And then I moved those bags. They were in the basket before that I now have the tea in, that big basket, that one. And now they're just out free and it works so much better. I don't know why I never thought of that, but everything up here pretty much remained the same. Thanks so much for watching our New York City pantry tour. I'll have all our other pantry tours linked down below so you can see our big Texas pantry and how that was organized. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. My friends are in the club, we'll go on.